My name is Josh Scoggin with The Chariot. You're watching punkvideosrock.com. What's up, guys? Robert Herrera here with punkvideosrock.com. We're hanging out at the Glass House with Josh of The Chariot. You are currently on the Winterizer tour. True. How's this tour been treating you so far? It's awesome. Um, as we were saying earlier tonight, it's uh, pre-sold out. So, uh, and that's kind of the way it's been a lot of places. Uh, either really sold out or really packed, you know, and uh, no complaints there. It's a pretty solid lineup. It is. It is it's really uh, it's, it's a learning experience for me. I wasn't very familiar with a lot of the bands on this tour um, personally. So, uh, but getting to know them as people and getting to know them as as the music's really uh, it's really good. A lot. Of, it's a lot. Of, it's different. You know what I mean? It's not exactly. like it's not like same band and the same band and the same band and the headliner band. It, it's exactly. a big uh, you know mesh of different music, uh, and I like that when in a tour. You know, um, you got some heavy bands, you got some pop bands. You know, it's it's really really good tour. I think it's really fun for all the people that come out. That's sick. That's awesome. Uh, <clears throat> you release uh, Long Live back in November. True. Uh, what was the thought process for that record? Um, it's not too much thought going into it, like foreshadowing it. It's more of a, <clears throat> it's more it's more of like a we everything we do, we, we just kind of wing it. You know, we just sort of start writing, and it kind of starts writing itself and starts like creating itself. You know, and like for us, it was kind of like um, we wrote a couple songs and. You know, and then and then we put piece them together, and then we realize like, oh, this is sort of going this direction, and okay. you almost watch it grow before your eyes, you know. Okay. Um, and so for us, that that's the way every record is, but for this one, it was like very much so, uh, very impulsive, very okay. it kept evolving, kept changing, and we just kind of like went with the flow, you know. Was, was this more of a personal record? Actually, uh, the opposite may be true. Um, I mean, they're they're all personal to some degree, you know. Mm -hmm. They're your babies, you know. Exactly. Um, uh, but at some point, you have to let them go. But like. With, with wars the record before that okay. um it, it was very uh it had a lot of like sort of real dark tones to it you know is a, a really uh sort of a dark record we, we didn't know that going into it but when you look back on it, it's like wow and a lot of a lot of the lyrics you know my, my father had passed away within that year and mm -hmm. such and just big things like that so it, it was obviously the you know these dark times and so with this record um i don't we didn't do it inten intentionally but it ended up being sort of a more of a kind of light at the end of the tunnel sort of record okay. you know it was very uh <clears throat> it's it a lot more whimsical than than maybe you know wars was you know okay nice uh what's your favorite track to play live on this record and why <laughs> uh i'm not sure we we um <sighs> the city uh which is a of a, a a favorite of ours is a song that um, we we aren't playing it on this tour particular, but the times we've played it have been very very uh, satisfying as an artist. It's a very big um, part at the end with, where a lot of uh, participation from the crowd and that sort of stuff really like that's what we like a lot, okay. you know, in a song. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, for this, I've I've noticed your your live or actually your album is actually as intense as if we were to watch you live. So Thanks. How do you how does your recording process or what what goes through your mind when you guys are writing this and how do you guys make it happen because a lot of bands don't don't fulfill what you hear on the album <laughs> as well yeah. as when they're live I think a lot of bands you know they they write an album and, and they do the record or whatever and then they spend the rest of their time trying to p perform that record okay. live and for us I feel like it's the opposite like we are here for the live show like we love writing we love recording but we really just do that so that we can play more shows and okay. people don't get tired of us and we don't get tired of the songs you know exactly. so so for us it, we try to take what we do live and put it into the record you know take that that vibe because i mean the, the live show is what what drives bands you know exactly. it's, it's got the lights you got That's the sweat you, you got the uh you got the camaraderie of a punk rock show you got the kids you got you know just this energy that you can't deny you know so trying to shove that into a, a record is is really the challenge mm -hmm. for us and and uh, i would imagine more bands than just us you know but but i do think sometimes you know they they are trying to just perform the record uh, live you know? and for us yeah. it's just kind of like that's the first part the live show and then and then we try to put all that soul and all that energy mm -hmm. into the to the record and um you know, because the record's a difficult thing. You you, you don't is. have the lights. You don't have the 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 sweat and the energy, the heat. You know, you don't ha you, you can turn it down. You know, you, you're in a car with traffic. You, you, there's a lot of these like. So you, you try to like fulfill some of that in there as much as you can. You yeah. know, and and that's the challenge that we always like try to go with. No, and you guys just have really amazing fans. Like throughout the whole show, it's it's just consistent. Awesome. It's just crazy. I, I agree. Yeah, it's it's super. Uh, 
super satisfying to look out and just see people, you know, singing along or enjoying the sounds. Uh, this tour is really cool for us because, um, you know, we're, we're the, you know, the, there's a lot bigger bands on this tour than mm-hmm. us. And so therefore, it, you know, a lot of people don't know who we are. And, but I think by the end of the tour, at the end of the show, well, by they, the end of this tour, I think you guys are going to be well known after that. <clears throat> That'd be great. Yeah, we, we uh, but I think at the, end, at the end of the show, you know, a lot of people realize like it doesn't really matter about the lyrics. It doesn't matter that I don't know who this is. It's all about, you know, they, I think fun. they, it's just that freedom, you know, just be free, you know, move around feel it you know kind of be impulsive with us you know exactly. and and i think people catch on to it for the most part and it's really really entertaining for us yeah, no, you know, that's pretty cool though um i've been reading uh researching about you guys and stuff and i've been seeing a lot of uh <clears throat> you know publications or people calling you guys or considering you guys math core math core what do you what do you what are your thoughts on that and what do you think that uh means? i don't know i was never very good at math so uh <laughs> um i don't know i think you know i, I guess that's a term they can use i mean it, it's there's tricks involved you know there's there's like different timings and stuff you know but um i don't really know what that means exactly i know when i think of math core i don't, I don't think of what it is we do because a lot of math core stuff that i think of is really really like hard That's to hard. play and, yeah. and we're not we don't play very much hard to play stuff but uh there is a lot of memory involved i guess um but uh for us i think it comes more out of just like a you know we're all pretty ADD and we we, we, we get bored pretty quickly so it's like <laughs> so well let's change, change it up. up you know and then we <laughs> we do that for a while we're like oh let's change that up you know so I think that's where it comes from more so than I think when he, when the difference between us and, and, and quote unquote math core is I think math core people are like they're like really smart people you know and they sit down beforehand and they go okay let's how can we make this Calculate crazy this all together. yeah it's very very calculated very like okay well this is weird so let's do this and then us we're just like you know we literally like that's cool but now I'm bored let's change it you know so <laughs> I think that might be the difference. It's been working. So. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it works for us. We, we were entertained on stage, and we were entertained, uh, you know, when we listen to the records. So that's yeah. good. That's good. <laughs> um, you guys have, like, about a week left on this tour. Um, what else is coming up for you guys? Well, we drive literally from Baltimore, Maryland, which is the last day of this tour, all the way across the United States of America to Seattle uh, and join up on the Hates the Day tour. They're doing their final tour ever. It's a big farewell tour, um, doing the – full us with them Mm -hmm. um then we go to europe we do a headliner um and then we do um australia japan and china actually which we're really stoked on all those we've never done uh, australia japan and china so um and so yeah a lot of traveling coming up and a lot of busy the whole year yeah we're we're machines you know it's uh like i said it's live show you know we 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 love touring otherwise what's the point now what what's one of your uh what's one of your pastime activities like while on tour um I don't know. This probably doesn't classify a pastime activity, but we found a tumbleweed the other day in uh, Arizona, um, and we chased them down and caught them, and we put them in our trailer. And now, our like we were in Vegas last night, we took them to all the casinos and took pictures, <laughs> and like uh, we all the Silverstein dudes have like had pictures with them and stuff. So like we, I don't know, if that's a hobby, but that's pretty much what we <laughs> we get like bored fun. pretty quick, and then and then and then we're like, oh, you know, it's very impulsive, you know, like oh, there's a tumbleweed. Our thought was there's a tumbleweed. There's people in Atlanta, Georgia. That I don't believe in tumbleweeds we'll take them home so now you have proof but then we were like oh well now we have them we might as well take them up to the snow because <laughs> it's a tumbleweed so you can roll it around in the snow and then maybe it becomes a snowman we don't know and then we were like well no <laughs> no tumbleweeds probably ever ever seen snow exactly. so we were just like it's on vacation well, yeah. yeah literally we we're gonna try <laughs> to take them uh to like the majority of the 48 states uh and and see if we can uh you know see if we can really like you know give them a good life you know instead of just rolling around in arizona for no reason so i don't know if that's a hobby but that's what we do sounds entertaining though you can't complain (laughs) (laughs) any last words you have for either our audience or your fans out there uh man hopefully we'll see you at the show uh the reason we do what we do is because we just love meeting people and we love like you know getting those friendships and stuff And and it'd be cool to see everybody and uh And, uh, yeah, so thanks for all the support and all the future support. Thanks.